So, story time. Yes, yes, what's good people, Tech Jamal. Now, I don't really wanna make this video too much of a long thing. I've got two main objectives. Objectives one, tell you guys what the hell happened to my YouTube channel last week here yeah, and how I managed to get it back. And objective two, let you guys know what you can possibly try and do to prevent this happening to your channel as well. All right, now you guys have probably already seen the previous video of my channel getting hacked and my literal reaction to that. If you haven't, you can check that in the description section below. But basically what happened is I had a cough and cold, man flu. You know how it is, men, when we get our flu, it's peak, worse than childbirth. <laughs> But yeah, nah, on a serious note though, yeah, man had a cold and thing. Woke up, I thought, Ugh, I've got a cold. Let me just look at my YouTube, maybe do some video editing, you know, stuff like that in the morning. Woke up now and the thing was like, yeah, you've, you've logged out and you've changed your password 14 hours ago. Spoke to Google Gmail team and they took me through some troubleshooting, which is what I already did to try and reset my password. And they were kind of like, well, we've tried everything we can do you better just make yourself a new Gmail account. And I was thinking at the time, what kind of use is that? Like, my actual YouTube channel is gone, bro. Like, it's done out. How could you tell me that the next solution is just to make another YouTube channel? So then that happened and I was on Twitter and I was like, yo, Twitter, my thing is mash up, you know? YouTube lock off. Ross, this is actually peak couldn't find any trace of my YouTube account anywhere online. Literally nowhere, nothing on Google, nothing at all. So fast forward now, man started morning on Twitter. I'm like, yo, Twitter, like my thing is actually lock off. Like what does man even do in this situation? And thankfully a lot of you guys were like, yo, YouTube creator team, YouTube team, this team, that team, yo, sort this better out fam, is YouTube is just lock off for no reason. YouTube creator team got back to me on Twitter now, and they were like, okay, look, we're gonna put you onto the YouTube creator support team. Now, these guys hollered me and they asked me some security questions in terms of what is my current IP address? What is the IP address that I normally upload at? Things that even if you're a hacker, you need to be in that situation to be able to answer those questions kind of thing in it so that was kind of cool because obviously i had my phone on me that i'd already signed into my youtube account from time um all that stuff was there and then they kind of went okay thank you for the information we're gonna go away now look at the information and determine whether you've been hacked or not these times i'm trying to check my channel again to see what's going on and when i put in the url for my channel it now says that my channel has been blocked as in it's been taken down because the content on it is like not suitable for youtube kind of thing so something they've taken my account and they've uploaded something that's caused it to now be blocked and now i'm like what's going on fam like what's actually going on so youtube creator support they get back to me now they're like cool we found out that your channel has been hacked we're gonna take these precautions and now we're gonna secure your Google account. So they secured my Google account, I got my email address back, and I was able to see the history of what the hackers did in my account. And boy, let me just tell you, from 701 to like 707, that's it. They compromised the whole YouTube account, just like that fam. It's a mad thing. Now, Google hasn't given me an official response on how these people managed to infiltrate my account, especially when I've got two-factor authentication everywhere. I literally, you know, as a tech reviewer, I go through quite a lot of smartphones. And every time I try to sign into a new smartphone, there's always a security prompt on my previous smartphone saying, are you trying to smart, you know, are you trying to log in to this new smartphone? So it's not even just enough to have my password and my email address you need one of my other devices to be able to log in to a new device. So this is when it gets weird. The history, the login history on the day that I was hacked shows that at 701, I apparently downloaded security codes to get into my account. Now, I didn't download any security codes. The hacker obviously did that. But how did the hacker get into my account to download those security codes in the first place? Anyway, once the hacker got those security codes, they were able to gain access to my account. 
and literally within the next four to five minutes, they removed my backup email. They changed my email. They removed my backup number. They removed anything externally that would enable me to get control of that account. They then removed two-factor authentication and the rest is history because they obviously cleaned up their tracks after all that thing was done. And they did it in like five minutes, fam. It was bare fast. Whoever did it is like a professional hacker and they knew what they were going to do. They weren't just snooping around. They were going in there specifically to just mash up their YouTube channel. And that's what they did. And now I'm kind of shook because I was thinking, well, I had two-factor authentication. It's not like I didn't. So technically, there's a breach within my yard, fam. My babes definitely doesn't know how to <laughs> lock off my YouTube. Not, definitely not in five minutes. She could research it, but I don't know if she could do that within four minutes, fam. That's very quick. So then I'm thinking, rah, I must have some kind of computer virus. So man had to give a fresh clean to the whole computer, fam. Lock off the whole hard drive, clean that, format that, and put everything back on. I'm like, cool, 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 cool. I wonder if it was my phones as well. So I did the same things on my phone. Lock off, factory reset, everything, cool, done. So I'm thinking, how did they manage to breach the thing? That's mad. Anyway, so that's been done now. And then a whole week when, when YouTube support were like, yeah, they're sorting out my YouTube channel. And I thought, you know what? My YouTube channel has been blocked. It's disappeared. It's, it's over for me. <laughs> yeah. Like all the contacts that I've got at the moment, that's good, but I want to grow my YouTube channel and it's going to be hard for me to grow it when my whole portfolio has literally been deleted off the face of the earth kind of thing, if you understand. As well as my YouTube channel being just there for entertainment kind of thing and just there for reviews, it's also my portfolio of what I've already done. And I've got screenshots of what I've already done, but nothing says what you've already done than for them to just have the link, go on your YouTube channel, see the comments and see the views and see exactly what's going down. So then fast forward now, YouTube support managed to get me the channel back. I was gobsmacked. I immediately went to sign on and to my shock, the YouTube channel had a completely different name. It was Uni, they changed it to Uniswap Live, fam. Uniswap Live, I don't know what that is. Um, I went to try and research it myself. I didn't really see much, but I saw stuff about a Uniswap Live scam, like a Uniswap Live scam. And I'm like, oh, okay. So there's like a Uniswap Live scam going on. However, for me to get scammed, wouldn't I have to be scammed? I would have to be talking to someone or something that has scammed me and all I can think of in the past month when I'm looking through my reviews and stuff like that is there was one company that they were selling a game um or they wanted me to review a game for them and they were like oh yeah 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 can you check out this um check out this game as you know we all do we get bare games and I'm like okay cool 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 I looked up the game on Steam and I was like, yep, this game looks all right. They even used the name of the developers of the game company on Steam and the email address looked legit. And I was like, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, man can have a look, little look at that kind of thing because next thing they usually do is they just send me the, um, the code to download the game. But this company, they sent me a little non-disclosure thing in it. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, they want me to sign the non-disclosure. It won't be the first time that I've signed a non-disclosure, literally. So man downloaded it now, clicked on the non-disclosure, and even though it looked like a Word document, I noticed that nothing happened. And I was like, wait, why did nothing happen? This is weird. So I deleted the whole thing in it. Cool, cool, cool. But maybe in that split second that I, I don't even think it was a split second. I think I downloaded it. And then I went away and I came back, tried to open it and sign the non-disclosure and then it wouldn't open. And I was like, rah, yeah, this is, a, this is a dodgy looking file. So I tried to delete everything, but maybe by then it was already too late or they already downloaded the things. And they were just, at this point, they were just waiting to do the thing and mash up my account when I wasn't looking. So yeah, that's, that's basically what happened to my account. And the only way I got it back was that I contacted the YouTube content support team. All right, the team is called the YT-partner-support at google.com. That is the team that you need to holler when you need to get your YouTube account sorted. I repeat that again, YT-partner-support at google.com. 
they, they are the guys fam they're the guys right there so objective two what i want to tell you guys is that these guys have told me about another higher method of security authentication that google offer and that's a physical key so even if the hacker gets into your computer even if they able to get your password and stuff like that they still need one of these physical keys to be able to gain access to your account now this is called the ubico ubico key 5 um basically anytime i need to sign into my account now i need to plug this into the machine that, that i'm signing in on now it's also got nfc so if you're signing into a google account on your smartphone you just put this on the back of your smartphone and it's like yeah you've got the key now google wants you to have two of these one as a backup that you just keep hidden around the yard somewhere and one that you can keep on your key ring that you're going to use all the time and that's pretty much all there is to it fam just just a, a regular degular key so they would have to actually get you i mean unless they can i won't be surprised if they could fraud this key as well fam and try to hack into this key but <laughs> as far as i know as long as you have this key and this is the only method that you're using to log it into your account uh, together with your password you should technically be okay because they can't now download security codes because this overrides the security codes so yeah no it should be should be all good from now on that's not a challenge that's not a challenge to all the hackers out there by the way that yo that's not a challenge leave me alone fam i don't even know why people have come to hack my little 8k channel fam that's not even a not even 10k not even 15k not even 20k there are million millionaire channels out there fam but you try to come and hack my little 8k channel I don't know fam it, it don't make no sense to me it's not making no sense but that's what the thing is guys anyway hopefully that helped i'll put the link to where you can get these keys in the description section below and how you can sign up to the google advanced security service um in the description section below as well and yeah just again a big shout out to the youtube team for sorting that out i'll catch you guys in the next one